Welcome into Saints Now by Chat Sports. As always, we got a loaded show for you, Who Dat Nation. Thank you so much for tuning in on a Monday. My name is Trace Jordan. As always, be sure to subscribe. But this time I need your help because we need to climb the power rankings here at Chat Sports. Currently, we are ranking number 14th out of about 35, 40 plus channels here at the company. This month, we picked up over 6,200 subs or likes, excuse me. But last month, over 10,500. So help me out. I want to try and get as close to that number as possible. We have just about a week to get there. So don't stop me now. Don't let me down. And let's get this thing started. <music> Here's what we got on tap for you in today's edition of Saints Now by Chat Sports. First, we're going to be discussing Brian Brzee and why I believe he is set to have a big year, too. And then on top of that, the Saints should keep an eye on who? Possible free agent that could be released by their current team as roster cuts get going. So we're going to talk about him at the end of the video, so don't go anywhere. So let's start off with Brian Brzee because I think this year is going to be outstanding for the sophomore in the NFL. Number 90 was absolutely excellent in his rookie campaign. And on top of that, there are so many exciting things about Brian Brzee to buy in and to get, you know, just buy so much stock in. I think that he's going to take the league by storm in his second year. I mean, this is a player who in his rookie campaign was third in sack production for the New Orleans Saints. Now, it was only uh, four and a half sacks, but still, I mean, he's ranking up there pretty high for sack production for New Orleans. And if he can just hone in some of the skills and just climb the ladder a little bit in terms of some development, I mean, this is a player who could really be one of the best defensive tackles in the National Football League. And 24 tackles, four and a half sacks, seven tackles for less, nine quarterback hits, all that is awesome. But this is a player whose impact not only is uh, limited to those stats, but I believe can also be made as a leader on the defensive line. Now, this is a current group that I really, really like. Carl Granderson, he's going to be a lot of fun this season. Chase Young, whoo, that guy is looking pretty big. You guys should see the pictures that I posted on my Instagram and Twitter accounts, at TraceGerard48. Colin Saunders, Hey, let's get Binky a touchdown this year. Nathan Shepard, I really like the player in him. But I also really like uh, uh, Christian Boyd, excuse me, the de uh, defensive tackle that the Saints drafted this past year. Isaiah Foskey in year two. I want to see what he can do when he cuts it loose. And what's going to happen with Pey Tur Peyton Turner? Only time will tell. But I will say this. For number 90 specifically, Brian Brzee is going to benefit from an improved defensive line. Because he was already commanding double teams about halfway through the season in his rookie year. I mean, this player in week one got a half of a sack in week one versus the Titans. So he wasted no time getting the league to be familiar with his presence. And then on top of that, this is a guy who throughout the season continued to make really good plays, continued to get to the backfield to rush the passer. Now, the only thing that I really want to see from him is improved run defense and, you know, just honing in on some of the tackles and whatnot because I think that he was really, really good at rushing the passer. But where things were, you know, a little rocky in his rookie season was the run defense. And again, it's just the rookie season. So that's okay. Like, he has time to, de to fix that and to develop and to improve, and I think he will. He's a player who's very, very smart, very instinctual, and has a lot of talent. And this is a guy, a guy who was one of the top recruits in his recruiting class coming out of high school. And like I said, the run defense needs to improve, but that is the case for the entire Saints defense. So Brian Brzee is not special, and he is not being called out for being bad against the run. The entire Saints run defense needs to improve. And I think that Brian Brzee, as he continues to develop, can be a big-time reason why the defense can improve. So I'm pumped up for number or for year two for Brian Brzee. So if you're feeling the Bayou Brzee, I need you to type 90 in the comment section. Show the kids some love. And we're going to have a lot more fun to talk about here in just a second. But I got to give a big time shout out to Chubby's today's presenting sponsor. It's summertime, Saints fans, and skies are out. That means the thighs are out too. So crack open a cold one and make any day feel like a Saturday when you use our code CHAT. That's code C-H-A-T to get 20% off when you visit ChubbyShorts.com. 
Now, Chubby's makes clothes that make every single moment feel like a vacation. Some people like to wear tuxedo t-shirts or golf polos or all sorts of other stuff to show that they like to party. But for me, I rock chubby shorts, swimsuits, and shirts by the pool when I'm at the bar or when I'm just kicking it back with the homies. I've been rocking a dad bod since high school, and chubby shorts have been there every step along the way, keeping me looking fresh and feeling confident. They have the most comfortable shorts, swimsuits, pants, polos, and even button-down shirts that will have grandma praising how well you clean up and your girlfriend wanting to get down. So it's always the weekend when you're rocking chubby shorts. For a limited time, Chubbies is giving our viewers here at Saints Now by Chat Sports 20% off your order with our code CHAT. That's our exclusive code CHAT at chubbyshorts.com. You see the link down below at the bottom of the screen. I mean, look how fresh I look. American flag swimsuit, pineapples on the shirt. I'm looking absolutely awesome. Kicking it back by the pool, grilling up some heater burgers. You know what I'm doing on the summers. Looking good, feeling good, and I'm wearing chubbies. So support our show and tell them that we sent you. Do not blend in with the crowd. Stand out with chubbies. So let's talk about a future option. The New Orleans Saints should be targeting or keeping an eye on who? I'll talk about him. Lewis Seen, the former Georgia Bulldog. And a lot of you, I understand, are LSU fans. So maybe you're like, oh, I forgot about that Lewis Seen guy. You know, the kid who was really, really good with Georgia and one of the top draft prospects in his respective draft cl class for his safety position. I mean, whatever happened to him? Well, he was on the Vikings, and he suffered an injury, and he hasn't really done a lot. And for all of these reasons, he is at risk of losing his roster spot this year. So in his career with Minnesota, he's had 10 total defensive snaps, one tackle. He's had 110 snaps on special teams, which is, you know, pretty nice to see. But he's only been active in three games in 2023. So that's not really all that good to hear. He's very, very limited in terms of what we've been able to see. And why has he been losing snaps? Well, there's a plethora of reasons for it. Well, the first one, he suffered a compound fracture in his left leg when the Saints took on the Vikings out in London a couple of years ago. If you guys remember that, Lewis Seen on the sideline took a pretty nasty injury, was not quite able to get back on the field and be a productive part of the defense for Minnesota. And the Vikings do have a lot of depth at their safety position. And with Brian Flores being their defensive coordinator, he's not necessarily a scheme fit. And so I think that they could possibly look to move on from him considering he's been kind of buried over the past couple of seasons on the depth chart. Now, let's go through some pros and cons about the safety. He is a massively hard hitter. I mean, this dude is a heat-seeking missile. He loves contact. Shout out Jake Ritma. And this guy absolutely is a head hunter, which is something I personally really, really love in my defensive football players. And he can also play in the box, which is really, really exciting. We're going to look at his snap alignment here in a second. The ball skills aren't all that great. He didn't do a ton in terms of forcing turnovers for the Georgia Bulldogs coming out of college. But he's a really, really good athlete. He tested really well. He's a great tackler. And part of that is because he is such a hard hitter and he likes to hit it. I mean, he looks for contact. He's best when he's coming downhill trying to stop the run and Hey, we just talked about it a little bit ago. The New Orleans Saints' run defense could definitely improve. So maybe Lewis Seen should be an option. But a big-time con is the limited NFL experience. And I'm going to give you some more reasons why we should talk about Lewis Seen. But really quick reminder, subscribe for more Saints videos, live shows, and all sorts of interactive and informative and entertaining free coverage. I've been trying to give you guys multiple videos a day, multiple live shows a week. I've been really busting my butt. The offseason, it is in the dog days of it. I mean, we're sitting here in the end of June, early July, and there's not a lot going on, but I'm still going to give you guys as much coverage as I possibly can because I love my job and I love all of you. So be sure to subscribe for more coverage. Now, Lewis Seen, like, let's not, let's not disregard who this player once was. I mean, this was a national champion for the Georgia Bulldogs, and he was one of the, the guys, one of the dogs among all the Bulldogs on that Georgia defense that won the national championship at least the one that won back in 2021. Now, the production was really, really good for Lewis Seen, and the PFF grades were also great. And when you look at the snap alignment, I mean, this shows that he can play in the slot. He can play in the box. You can also have him line up deep. I mean, he can be comfortable anywhere you want him to go, and he's good against the run, an 80.6 run defense grade. The coverage grade was really, really good for uh, the time when he was in Georgia, and 
This is a player who in 2021 had 73 tackles, one interception, nine pass breakups, gave up 38 out of 60 pass attempts. So 38 times he gave up a completion on 60 attempts. And he only gave up one touchdown in less than 400 yards for the Bulldogs. Now, I do believe that Dennis Allen, he could do really, really good things with Lewis Seen. And I think that Seen could, uh, could benefit from coming to a situation like New Orleans where they have a defensive-minded coach and the defense is the bread and butter, especially that defensive back group. I mean, that's where all, like, not all the talent, but a lot of talent is for the New Orleans Saints roster. And I think that Dennis Allen is a phenomenal developer of defensive backs and defensive talent, you know, in general. But I feel like you already kind of have that in Alante Taylor. And I, the only reason I brought this up is because I saw an article out there and me and Patrick Seatman, who you guys all know and love, we were talking about Lewis Cena, where he could possibly go. So I just kind of wanted to get up here, spit some thoughts and share what I was thinking, you know, on the mic. So I want to hear what you guys have to say now. I'm done talking. Now it's your turn. Are you interested in signing Lewis Cena? Just give me a yes or give me a no in the comment section. This is a guy who was a first-round draft pick, the 32nd overall selection by Minnesota. This is a player who I think is really, really talented. There's still a lot that he can unlock and develop. So I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. And if you want to share your thoughts and you want to get uh, a little bit quicker of a response, feel free to hit me up on Twitter slash X at TraceGerard48. I've been putting out a lot of coverage on Twitter. I put out all my thoughts on social media before I take them to YouTube. So if you want to get more of my thoughts and more in-depth analysis, hit me up on social media. Y'all stay golden. We'll see you next time.